women need to have a voice. Everyone should vote, but women especially in this time because so many issues facing women with respect to education and opportunity are on the line. November 8th was a historic day. It was a day billionaire Donald Trump became the president-elect Donald Trump. Election day, many came to cast their votes because for women, the road to this election has been a long time coming. Well, this is a former suffragette, and she was, uh, in, in 1913, she was standing in front of the Woodrow Wilson uh, uh, White House, uh, and Wilson didn't appreciate the fact that women were protesting for or petitioning for the right to vote. So he basically threw them in jail at the Occoquan Workhouse uh, for uh, obstructing the sidewalk. That was the charge that they were charged with. They were held for 30 days. Um, they were beaten, chained shackled to the wall and then uh, tortured, forced fed um, because they refused to eat. They went on a hunger start, a strike. So basically sparking the movement for women to have the right to vote, which is I think guaranteed okay, under the 19th Amendment. After the election, some young women voters were distressed. No, very disappointed. Um, I thought America was better than voting in a bigot. Um, you know, we, you know, whether you're a parent or not, we teach children not to lie, not to steal, not to cheat, not to be a bully, and that's exactly who the majority of people voted in. So it literally takes the whole, you can be whatever you want to, a different extreme. When asked what she thought a Trump presidency would bring, this young woman was not optimistic. We're going to go back to how it was 50 years ago, and women and other minorities are not going to have a voice, even though all of us as the minority group make up the majority in this country. <laughs> Still, others have a different take on the elections. Um, well, I'm not pleased with either choice that we had, either viable choice, Trump mm -hmm. or Clinton. Um, but honestly, I think I'd rather stick with the devil I know because I can deal with sexism. I shouldn't have to deal with sexism, but I can. I can deal with sexism. I can't deal with the things that I believe Hillary would have brought to the presidency, specifically related to her past and track record when it came to her behaviors in um, politics. But above all, okay. these so, women agree. Right, yeah, yeah. We're just going to have to band together, and we're not going to have to have an us versus them mentality. We're going to have to go back to the core roots of feminism and stick together and put all of our other biases aside that we're all equal, you know. Um, growing up in a Christian household, a lot of Christians disagree with like modern day feminism because they think it's too radical, but I think that's, that's exactly a good thing. Like in the eyes of the Lord, everybody's equal. I feel that it is a great privilege of every American to get out and vote. It's our, our, um, our duty. It's important for us to have our voices heard no matter what position anybody has.